What is up guys, this is Max Square, and today we are looking at the last app that you'll ever need to install. So I kind of stumbled upon this app by accident really. I was looking for a, another app to review in the app store and I found Wallpaper Wizard and I just did a video on that a few days ago so you can go check that out. So if you happen to look in the description, I actually linked to this app because that's how I use the trial for Wallpaper Wizard. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So this app is called Setapp and basically the way it works is that you pay about 10 bucks a month and you get access to hundreds of apps. So you can install the trial for free, it's about 30 days, but there are tons of apps that are at least worth 10, 15, 20 bucks even, sometimes even 60 bucks for that one app and you get access to all of them for free by paying for this one app. So like I said, I'm using the trial version of this app, but there aren't any features that are limited. You just get 30 days to test it out. So if you wanna do the same thing, just check out the link down below. So let's say I wanted to download this Be Focused app. Now I know that this app is at least five or six dollars, and I can just hit download, and it's installed right to my computer. So then I can go to On My Mac, and you'll see that I've already installed all these apps, including Wallpaper Wizard. And once you've installed them, they run just like any other app. The only difference is they sit in the set app folder and not in your main applications. Like I said, there are apps in here that are $10, $20, and they can get really expensive. So if you start to do the math and you add up all the apps that you're gonna use from this app, it more than outweighs the cost for paying for set app each month. And this is an awesome way just to test out apps if you want to buy them. So maybe you pay for a month of set app, you go through all the apps that you are ever gonna need or think you'll ever need, you test them out and maybe you find out you don't like them, or if you do, you can cancel your subscription to set up and go buy that app. So it's kind of a way to test run all the apps for a really low cost. Now obviously there are a ton of apps in here and you can filter by lifestyle and creativity, productivity, whatever you want but there are way too many for me to review all in one video, so I'll be trying to put out a separate video on each one. But I would definitely encourage you to go check this out. Like I said, it does work like just any other app once you install it. Now one thing to remember is that you will have to run setup while you open these apps, but it does open automatically, so if I were to open up Wallpaper Wizard and setup wasn't open, it would go ahead and open setup for me. Now it will show up in your dock and in your menu bar, but like always, you can head over to your preferences and uncheck either one of those. What is cool is if you go up to the menu bar, you can search through different apps. So I can say wallpaper wizard, I can search for unclutter, whatever it is. This isn't just limited to apps that you've installed, it's actually searching the whole set app database. Now I know this can sound super promotional and like I'm getting paid to do this, but honestly, I was just looking for Wallpaper Wizard and the developers showed me the app that they had made and they asked me to check it out. So I'm not getting paid to do this, but it is just a really cool app, so I would recommend checking it out. Apparently, they will be adding more and more apps each month, so it's not just set to 100 or 150 apps that they have already. Anyway guys, that's been it for this video. I know it's super short, but be sure to go check this out. All the links will be in the description as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.